Hallelujah. He got us through all the hells. And you know what? It's just something about God. It's just something. It's just something about him. You know, we, when we want something, we always say, ah, oh, you know, I want this, I want that. Tell God about it. Tell God about your heart. Tell God about your sickness. Tell God if you don't have no food to eat, ask him, tell him. He's there. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. You remember the, the woman who, 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 who went behind him and just touched him? He know, he, he can turn around and say, I Ro, touch me. Hallelujah. Jackie, touch me. Huh? Lily, touch me. Louise! Didn't he touch you, honey? All right, now. We got some cancer survivors here. We got some that are going through something here. All you got to do is just turn it over to God. And when he show up, hallelujah, when he show up, come on, Jeff, when he show up, he show out, don't he? Huh? He's an on-time God, hallelujah. He may not come when you want him. But he's always there on time. And you will know it too. Hallelujah. Come on, choir. I want y'all to sing with me. Now, Henry. Yeah, I want you to sing with me. Let you know you have something to be thankful for. Because God has really did for you. Hallelujah. Well, he's an old time God. Yes, he is. Oh, 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 he's an old time God. Yeah. Yes, he is. Joe said he may not come when you want him, but he'll. Oh, let me tell you, he's an old time God. He 
when he does it, thank him. Thank him for what he does. Thank him. God wants you to thank him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for everything that he does for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to thank yes. So good, yeah, you have. Oh, you've been so, oh, you've been so mighty, 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 mighty good. Oh, you've been, oh, you've been so good, yeah. Oh, you've been. away. friend, my very, 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 very best friend. Oh, he been, oh, he been my, he's been my very best friend. He's been my, he's been my friend and I. I want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Let's give God glory this morning for our praise service. Amen. I hope you've been blessed uh, by our choir and uh, singing this morning, getting us ready for worship service. We realize that many had to answer the call of death on last night, but God been so good to us. Amen. He'd allow us to see another day. Uh, we know many of our members are traveling, those that may be traveling. Uh, let's keep them prayed up. Those that have lost loved ones, um, let's keep them prayed up as well for comfort. Welcome to St. Peter AME Zion Church in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Amen. Where we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. Those that may be visiting with us via social media, thank you for being here. In our service today, we hope that we will do something that would be pleasing, not only to you, but unto our mighty God. Let us stand as we call to worship. The Lord is in this holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Lord is in his holy temple. Please be 
seated for the invocation. Father God, we come right now in the name of Jesus. Asking, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will remain into this house this morning. Father, we thank you for this spirit, Father. Lord, who has allowed us to praise you this morning. Now, Father, we ask as we continue through this service, Lord, give us worship power. Give us praise and power. Give us lifting you up power in the name of Jesus. So our worship will not be in vain. Forgive us, Father, for any word, thought, or deed that had entered in our minds or our hearts. Cast them in the sea of forgetfulness. Remember them no more in this life or in the judgment. Now, Father, we ask, Lord, that you would just shake us up this morning. Lord, that we may give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen, amen, amen. Let us stand and confirm our faith. <clears throat> I repeat of Apostles' Creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he is sitting into heaven and sit upon the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence is come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the universal church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of a body, life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated.
I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Oh Jesus, I give myself away so you
give ourselves away when we begin to realize that you can just let the Lord use you when you just sit and meditate and realize you didn't make yourself you didn't get here on your own you can give yourself away amen Boy, if we gave ourselves away, we'll be a better church. If we give ourselves away, we'll be better people. If we just give ourselves away sometimes. Amen. Quit holding on to your own life. Thinking that it's your own. Give yourself away. Thank you, choir. I didn't want that song in. Amen. Amen. But I also enjoyed every day as a day of thanksgiving. Yes, yes, Amen. Thank you for letting God use you to minister uh, to us through songs. Amen. Amen. We need to hear that. We need to be reminded. Amen. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. Not just on Thanksgiving Day. Every day. Amen. Not just on Christmas. I got my little gift and I'm thankful. Not just on your birthday, you know, they didn't bless me with something and I'm thankful. But every day is a day of thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm full now. I'm, I'm ready to preach now. Amen. Let us continue to pray for our preachers. Um, they're sick. Amen. So lift them up in prayer. Amen. Amen. Good to see you, Reverend Abernathy. You can come on. Uh, Reverend Eastman and Minister Fay. Uh, lift them up in prayer. Amen. Um, Sister Rouser, I believe Janie Dudley may have lost uh, her mother. So let's keep them lifted up. Amen. Amen. And all of those others that we may not know about. 
you know that I'm going through some dark days, dark times right now. They need your prayer. Amen. Our scripture will come from Philippians 4, verse 1 through 5. This month, um, we want to have a series of lessons, series of sermons from this particular chapter. <coughs> it says, therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and longed for my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech, I beseech, I beseech Aeoditis and beseech Syntyche that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel. With Clement also, with others, my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. The word of God for God's people. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. Amen. Amen. I ask the Reverend Abernathy. He would lead us in prayer. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. Come on, church, and bow with me. Eternal Father and Creator of all things. Our Lord, our Father, our God, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Lord, 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 even the God of Israel. As we endeavor to, to call upon thy great name, oh Lord, we just first have to say, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy, thy greatness, thy awesomeness. Father, we bow down unto thee. I heard somebody said, no other help we know. If thou Withdraw thine hand from us. Where, O oh Lord, would we go? But Father, in Jesus' name, you said in your word, dear Master, 1 John 1 and 9, that if we confess our sins, that you would be so faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And you also said, dear master, that if we say that we have no sin, we lie. And the truth is not in us. Father God, in Jesus' name, help us this morning to, to, to praise thy name. Help us to hear your word. Help us to hear and understand that your voice 
speaks throughout eternity, dear Master. And as you speak to us, convict us with your Holy Spirit. Father, in Jesus' name, bless, bless every voice throughout this congregation. Those, those out in media land that, that, that need you, Lord. Help them, dear Master, that we might continue to praise, to honor, to uplift, to shout, amen, to, to have joy, amen, on these exceedingly great promises that you've already given us, Lord. Father, thank you. Lord, somewhere, so, someone has lost a loved one. Someone has, has not even grieved uh, about their loss of their, their loved one. But Father, help us right now. I know when you lost your best friend, Lazarus, dear Master, you wept. Help us to learn how to, to grieve respectfully. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us to help ourselves. Father, I also want to pray for our children. You said in your word, dear Master, that if any did any harm unto these little ones, it would be better for them to, to tie a millstone out around his neck and, and be cast into the sea. Father, have mercy today in the name of Jesus. And then you told us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Have mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we don't even know how to pray, but Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. And then, Father, I pray for those education, the, the students, Lord, as they endeavor to, to press their way to further their education. Lord, help them today in the name of Jesus. Help those little students that, that are still in high school, that are still in the elementary ranks. Lord, bless them to care for them, Lord. Strengthen them and enable them to continue to grow in the name of Jesus. And Lord, 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 bills, Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Father, they even said that there are just two things certain, that the bills and death and all that stuff. But Lord, you said it in your word. Oh, hallelujah. That if any man would just lay down his life, he would, he would gain it unto life eternal. So we ain't worried about death, but it's the bills that's so pressing, dear master, that keeps us all stressed out. Father, help us right now. Strengthen us financially, Lord. Lord, help us to be able to give so that, that you would open up a window in heaven so that there wouldn't be enough room for us to receive it today. In the name of Jesus. Lord, 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 help me, dear master. Lord, Lord, I just pray for your strength. Pray, pray your strength in me, dear master. That I continue to remain humble. And that I might walk worthy of the vocation wherewith I'm called. That, that I may praise your name. That I may exalt your name. That I may lift you up. That I might recognize that, that you died for us, but Lord, you still live. And that, and that I honor you because I am a follower of you today. Bless those leaders, dear Master, as they continue on their journey. Bless our bishop, dear Master. We lift them up in the name of Jesus. Bishop Crenshaw, we lift them up. His wife, Sister Lorena Crenshaw, we lift them up. The missionary super, we lift them up, dear Master. The, the presiding elder, we lift them up in the name of Jesus. We lift them up. Presiding elder Cam Cameron's wife, Sister Evera, we lift them up in the name of Jesus. And then, dear Master, I pray for this pastor. I pray that you would strengthen him. I pray that you continue to keep him anchored uh, and uh, down in your storehouse of mercy. And that con you continue to strengthen him, endow upon him the blessing, dear Master. So that you can continue to be his re-reward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And then, dear Lord. Oh, Father, I almost forgot. I'm sorry, Lord. I didn't mean to get on these people's nerves, but I just, I just want to say this, Lord, and then I'm going to go back to my seat. Father, you said in your word that when the enemy comes in like a flood, even the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. 
And in Jesus' name, we just want to lift up the standard today. We just want to lift it up that Jesus will continue to be magnified. Lift it up that he will continue to be glorified. Lift it up that Jesus would get all the glory. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And amen. prepare for the ministry of kindness we're asking that <clears throat> if you're able to give five dollars toward this ministry of kindness please do so you can give by cash or cash app or givelify we've thank god for cash app we've all already given ours If God has blessed you to give, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. <clears throat> Whatever you would that men should do to you, do even so to them for this is the law of the prophets. Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, the Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything 
from any man by false accusation. I shall restore him fourfold. He who sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he who sow bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposed in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. stand all things come of thee
Father God, we come right now asking for your word. Decrease me. Increase your power, your Holy Spirit. Give me preaching power. Let your word go forth. Let us not be hearers only, but be doers of your holy word. For the Bible says your word is quick and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword. And it will carry out the things that it was called to do. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, that's a strong song. To surrender everything. Amen. Some of you won't give it up, even if God say give it up. Amen. God spoke to you and said, give up that car. Lord, how am I going to get around? Amen. And some things, that's a tough song. But what are you surrendering? Amen. What will you surrender to God? The series, Living in the Peace of God, I hope will bless some on today. Amen. How many know what it's like to live in peace? <clears throat> Sister Naomi, I know some folks that don't know what peace is. They always want to argue. Amen. They always want to fight. Uh, don't know what peace is. You know, in fact, one of my dear friends called and said that, you know, I, I had to let her go. And I said, why you do that? She said, she don't know what peace is. She wants to argue every day. Amen. But sometimes we need to know what living in the peace of God is all about. Amen. If you left home, if you left home this morning and it was in turmoil, go back and let it be in peace. If there was confusion on your job on tomorrow, go in there peacefully. Amen. Let God live on the inside. Uh, I know some of you ready to go tell your supervisor a piece of your mind on tomorrow. I'm ready to give them just a peace, Sister Gail. But keep that peace. Amen. This morning, I just want to look at one or two verses. In chapter 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men, not some men, that the Lord is at hand. This morning, I just want to give you a subject, a choice to rejoice. Keandre, did you check on Cherie? I know she all right. Amen. I just want to make sure she was all right back there by herself. A choice to rejoice. Alabama and Auburn had a choice to rejoice on yesterday. Amen. Even though some of the players didn't get in the game or didn't play at all, they still had a choice, Brother Carter, to celebrate uh, with their team or to be mad about not getting in the game. 
Some of us who played football, you know, we don't like to sit on the sideline. Amen. But we have a choice if our team wins, or even if our team loses, to rejoice no matter which way it goes. Some of the coaches had a choice to rejoice whether the uh, defense played like they were supposed to play or whether the offense played like they were supposed to play, or they had a choice to just be a little upset as well. As we approach Thanksgiving and Christmas, we have a choice to rejoice. Uh, you know when you get that little box, the box is smaller than what you thought it should be? And before you can look on the inside, Salitris, you, you're already uh, frowning up, amen. Not knowing that it could be something big in a little package. Uh, we can choose to be happy even though, um, you know, I might not get that carrot cake or that Italian cream cheese uh, during the Thanksgiving holidays. Amen. That's a hint to somebody. <laughs> you can choose to be upset or depending uh, on who's dressing um, you eat on Thanksgiving, whether it be dry. Amen. I, I, I don't know who cooked dressing in here to say if it's dry, but you, you or the greens may not be seasoned uh, to your perfection. That, that's still a choice uh, to be upset or, or to be happy about even someone putting some greens on your plate. Amen. The position, the promotion on your job you're trying to get, uh, it may not happen, but there's still a choice whether you want to be upset for the next six months or for the next year, or if it's time to say, okay, well, the Lord got this, I'm going to be all right. Even in your sickness, in, in, in the marriages, in your relationships, in, in your finances, they may not be where you want them to be, but you still have a choice. So Paul lets us know what a powerful message we see in, in, in Philippi. We, we see that as Paul said, he said, basically he states a question to us on how do we live this life that we're being called to live? How, how can we go daily and, and be joyful as we go day to day with so many things that's going on around us? Paul, he gives us three examples in uh, just these two verses on how we can rejoice regardless of the circumstances that we face. Amen. I know some of you want life to be perfect. I know we want uh, 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 roses every day. We want things to go our way and there should be uh, nothing out of line that everything should line up the way we plan on it. But life is not that way. Paul, he lets us know in, in, in verse 5, he informed us that we have a choice. Yes, joy is a choice. Amen. Uh, we, we're not victims of circumstances, Reverend Afton, but if we believe in God and his word and, and, and that he will guide us, amen, not some kind of this uncontrollable force, uh, but if we believe in God, in other words, a source of joy, eternal joy, comes from God. The Bible said every good and perfect gift come from God. Joy comes from God. Amen. Regardless of, of what we're facing sometimes, joy still comes from God. God is not a God that lied as God is not a God, a God that will disappoint you. God is not that kind of God. Even though sometimes we face death or lose loved ones, some people begin to think that God don't love them. But joy still come down from God. You know, and we have a choice to accept it or deny it. We, we got a choice to accept things. We got a choice to be happy or to be sad. Amen. Uh, you know, happiness depends on happening circumstances. You know, I know all of you happy when, you know, you get your check on Fridays or on the first of the month or the fifth of the month. And you're happy when you see it. You can't tell you nothing. Smile from ear to ear. Amen. But let that pocket be empty. 
Will you still be joyous? Amen. What if you spent everything? Uh, you know, uh, you got more bills than, 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 than money and you have paid all your bills. Now can you still be as joyful as you was before you got your check? You know, some people don't want to hold on to every last penny. A amen. Thinking gas will just appear in their car without paying for it. That groceries will just appear in their house without going to buy. They believe that, but hey, it, it, you, you have this choice. When we watch a, a comedy or, or attend a party, amen, the circumstances may bring us happiness. You know, my daughter last month, I think it was last month, she, she took me for my birthday to, to see Country Wayne at the Stardome. It was at the Stardome. It wasn't at the club around the corner. <laughs> Amen. And we had such a good time just laughing at Country Wayne, those of you who, who know who he is. But we have a choice, amen, to, to be happy and yet joy. The, the, the scriptures inform us that it's part of the fruit of the Spirit, amen. True joy is a gift from God. And if we accept Jesus, if, it, if we accept God not only as our Savior, but also as the Lord of our life, then we can expect, amen, this joy to continue, amen, in our life. The Holy Spirit should dwell in us and his DNA, amen, encompass us and we get this eternal joy it comes from God who live in us amen and allow uh, God to, to, to settle in you allow him to live in you and you will continue to have that joy it does not flow from happening outside of us amen it flows from God uh, himself Romans 12 and 12 say rejoice in hope amen patient in tribulations uh, continuing instant in prayer James 1 and 2 say my brother encountered all joy amen when you fall into divers temptation Romans 15 13 now that God of hope uh, fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost Psalm 94 and 19 said when anxiety was great within me your constellation brought me joy John 15 11 said I have told you this that my joy may be in you and that your joy, your joy may be complete uh, first Thessalonians said rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances he said in all circumstances no matter what's going on in your life in all circumstances amen give God a uh, glory just pray always uh, without continuing regardless of your circumstances thank God some people don't really know what joy is it's not about having a seven or six figure salary they come with some of these folks that are millionaires just are as depressed as we are sometimes. Some of these people that have it going on and got everything that they, they can want or even more, they be just as sad as us sometimes. And look, look, Paul was in prison and when he write this letter to, to the church at Philippi, in his predicament, in his situation, in his circumstances, he obviously and understood, so it, it seemed like he was right and he really wasn't happy, but he lets us know that we should always rejoice and, and, hey, and it's a choice whether we can be joyful or not. Paul, he was, even in his future, it was uncertain. I, I, I feel a little heat too there, Sister Blonde. Uh, I, I'm a little hot. It's not because I'm preaching. It's, uh, I, I feel the heat, amen. Uh, you know, his future is, is uncertain, and, and, and yet he proclaims. He, he still comes, and he let the church know. He encouraged them, Sister Robin, to rejoice and always allow this joy to get down on your inside. Uh, it's not just an emotion. You know, some people just move off emotions. And this is how I feel today. I, I'm emotionally upset. This is just how I feel today. I don't want to smile. I'm just, I, I'm just going through the motion. I, I'm just emotionally, I, I'm having some emotional problems. 
It, when you find, it, it, he said it's not just an emotion, it's a choice, amen. It, it's an attitude, and an attitude that affect how, amen, we look at life. It's an attitude on how we look at society. Uh, what you give, uh, will, uh, it's the same thing, what you will receive back, amen. If you're seeking joy, then you should give joy. Uh, allow joy to flow from your very being. If you're seeking love, you should give love. If you're seeking happiness, you should give it, amen. If you're seeking those things. You should give it out. Some people just want to receive, want to be on the receiving end. Don't want to love nobody, but want everybody to love them. Don't want to forgive nobody, but want everybody to forgive them. Amen. Don't want to talk to nobody, but want everybody to talk to them. That is what you give is what you receive. Amen. Amen. I ain't talking about offering right now. I know that some of them thinking that he better not go. I'm talking about some tithing. But what you give, what you say, allow the joy to just flow in from you, amen. And when I have a lack of joy in my life, amen, I, I've made a decision to, and, and I choose to pass it on to others and it become contagious. On my job, I, I've had some people every day that come in with a frown on their face, never was happy about nothing, amen. God I woke them up to see another day. God gave them transportation to get to work, amen. He gave them the ability to perform the job. But when they get there, they're mad about everything. But I made a decision that I'm going to be joyful regardless of their circumstances. And amen, that joyness, that joyfulness will rub off on them if you allow it to. Amen. It, it will rub off. And finally, after some time, we, we sat and we talked about what's going on. And the circumstances that were going on didn't matter to nothing. But when we let them know that God wants you to be joyful, amen, their minds begin to change and, and their thought process begin to change. And next you see smiles on their face every day. And from that point on and that point on, uh, they're encouraging others, amen. It gets contagious if you can be joyful, if you can tell somebody something good each day, amen, it will never fail. Amen. All of us, I'm sure, can recall a person like that. Amen. But your goal is to show that the joy is a choice, amen, to be sad or happy. You know, my, uh, you know, if, if we look at a glass, you can look at a glass that can be half full, it can be half empty. Which one you gonna be excited about? Whether it's half full, or whether it's half empty. You can look at it that way, amen. But the key is you have some water. Amen. You can look at life for being half empty or half full. But the key is you have life. Amen. You can look at your house as being half empty or half full. But the key is you got a house. Amen. You can look at your tank of being half empty. You know, I hate to see that yellow light come on in my car. You know, I know some of y'all don't get, you know, you don't let it get that far. But for those of us who do, I can't believe I need to put more gas in this car, Brother Smith. But if I'm going to keep going, amen, I, I got to put some gas. And if you're going to keep going, you got to put some word. Amen. You got to put some joy. Amen. You got to put something in your life to keep going. I'd rather be thankful uh, uh, among the thorns. Amen. That, 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 that there are roses. Amen. That I'd rather be thankful that there's some little thorns. Amen. That I can even get the rose. I got to be thankful. It's your choice. Amen. To rejoice. Paul was born a Jew. He was a, a Roman by citizenship. He was a, a tent maker. He had been to Rome. He, he had been to Ephesus. He had been to Corinth. He'd been to Thessalonica. He, he preached all over Asia Minor. And he had been let down a wall in a basket. Amen. He reached, uh, he had been beaten with uh, 40 lashes, mass one. Amen. At least five times, 39. Uh, Paul had been shipwrecked. He'd been lost at sea. He'd been bitten by a serpent. He had been run out of town by strangers. If you name it, Paul has been through.
through it, but when it, but when it comes to life, amen, his decision was still to rejoice no matter what he was going through, amen. He didn't deny the power of God, and sometimes we can't deny the power of God. God know what we're going through before we go through it. He know what you're going through, and he said he will be with us always, even to the end of the world. We can't deny it regardless of our circumstances. We still have a choice. You know, our attitude is important. We can trust God or we can deny him. Amen. We can study his word and believe that he, he, he exists, that he's still there. Or we can deny that he, he don't sit high and look low. We can choose to do these things. Amen. But we have to be reminded that God is still there. You know, I was looking at Fanny Cross. Anybody know who, who she is? You know, y'all sing a song, you know, I thought about Sister Sanders, you know, because she liked to sing Blessed Assurance. That was one of the songs she written. You know, To God Be the Glory is one that she written. Amen. Pass Me Not is one that she written. You know, you all sing her songs, right? You know, she was blind at six weeks. Amen. And the doctors thought that either it was genetically, um, she got it genetically, or they put the wrong stuff on her eye when she was six weeks. But still, that didn't stop her. Amen. At six months, her dad died. She, her grandmother and her mother raised her. Uh, she lived in New York. She, she wrote these songs, but she had a choice. And one of the things that, 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 that she said that when she lost her sight, um, she said that if you find anybody more happier or joyous than I. Bring them to me because I want to shake their hand and let them know. Amen. So the, the, our, our point was rejoicing is a choice. Amen. The second thing I want to share, which I'm almost closing, that you are blessed. It said, let your moderation be known unto all men. Let your much share. Amen. Tell your testimony amen it's a, let your gentleness be evident what he's saying you you be evident let somebody see the joy in you uh, and you can't tell somebody to be joy and you ain't joy for yourself amen you can't tell somebody to be happy and you walking around all frowning every day well how can i be happy and i'm spending eight hours with you and you sad the whole eight hours amen you, you can't do that. It, it, you know, I want you to understand, to truly understand how to be blessed or how blessed you are this day. Amen. If you're here, look, this is a study. If you're here and, and your medication is not louder than your perfume or your cologne, man, you're blessed. If you woke up today with, with, with more health, amen, than illness, you're blessed. If you woke up today, amen, and it said you're blessing more than 10,000 people. This is the statistics I pull, amen, uh, who, who survive. If you have never experienced the danger of, of battle, the loneliness of imprisonment, the agony of torture or, or, or starvation, you are ahead of 25 million people in the world. If you attend a service without fear or harassment or, or arrest or torture, you know, sometimes, you know, you come to church and think you're going to jail. <laughs> Folks have harassed you before you can get in the door to your pew sometimes. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. Folks have said something to you that have upset you. You want to turn around and walk back out the door. But if you have attend church without fear and harassment and, and, and arrest and torture and death, you are blessed more than 5 billion people in the world. Because there are some places they go in the world, amen, that they get this kind of treatment. If you can read, you're more blessed than over 6 billion people in the world. If you have food in your refrigerator, amen, clothes on your back and a roof over your head, a place to sleep, and you're richer than 80% of the world, you are blessed, amen. You are so very blessed, amen. And we take that for granted. You know, we get our little, little stuff at the house. We get our little lamp. And we are unhappy with it. 
You know, we get a little sofa set that somebody blessed us with. And sometimes we're unhappy with it. Amen. You get some clothes that someone have, have given you and didn't have to give you. And sometimes, you, you know, I knew some people that wouldn't take secondhand clothes. But they needed it. And you know, I, if it ain't Air Jordans, I don't want it. If it's not Guess, amen, or Gucci. Y'all know about Gucci, don't you? If it ain't Tommy Hill figure. You know, what about Levi's? You know, back in the day, we had jeans with no names on them. Amen. Shoes that, that you know, that, that from, yeah, it was pick and pay ever down here. In Birmingham it was, amen. You go and you pick and you pay. Didn't have a Nike or Adidas sign nowhere. Hey, 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 you're blessed, amen. The, the, the Bible said, blessed are the poor in spirit for, uh, amen, that their king, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be confident. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, amen, for they shall receive mercy. You and I, amen, are blessed in so many ways. Uh, we are never Never fully comprehend how good God has been to us and we ought to tell somebody how blessed we are if God make ways out of no ways you should tell somebody if he put food on your table you got to know that you're blessed amen if he put clothes on your back and shoes on your feet you're blessed if God made your enemies leave you alone and provided shelter for you a bed to lay in you're blessed and as I close the last thing Paul wanted us to know, he warned, he warned us, he said, the Lord is at hand. Well, thank God for being there for us. Thank God for being there for, for uh, in danger, seen and unseen, for being present when we didn't even know he was present. Uh, you know, that he, for going before us when we didn't even know he was going before us. We thank God, amen. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Uh, call on him while he is near. Spend some time, some, some personal time with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Uh, Isaiah 59 and 1 said, Behold, uh, the Lord is at hand. Uh, his hand is, is not too short, amen, that he can't say, neither is here, his ear is too heavy that he can't hear. Uh, 1 Peter 3 and 12 said, the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open to their prayer. Take some time and talk to God openly and honestly. Just let God know that you appreciate him. Let God know how blessed you are and how he have made you. Just take some time because he said his yoke is easy and his burden is light, amen. Amen. If your yoke is heavy and if your burdens are weighing you down, then you have to roll yoke around your neck. Amen. Uh, release them burdens and cast them and, and let the Lord know uh, he, that he's at hand. And only when you are uh, in trust and uh, only when you give your worries to God, uh, you can experience uh, the true peace that I'm talking about. Amen. Uh, spiritual peace. Uh, his peace. Uh, now there's uh, nothing wrong with having some concerns. Uh, we we all have concerns, but yet when your concerns own you, uh, you heard the song, uh, amen, uh, that they sung early uh, about your life is not your own. Uh, when you have peace, uh, uh, give it to God, amen. Uh, he, uh, he knows your concerns. Uh, that's when you move from concerns and it become worry, uh, and worry impact our very being. Uh, you think about all the time uh, you're under this bondage, but God said, lay your burdens down. Uh, give them to the Lord. Uh, Paul said, uh, the Lord is at hand. Uh, let go of your stress. Uh, let go of your strife. Uh, let go of envy. Uh, let go of worries. Uh, don't carry them through the evening uh, or through the night. Uh, Jesus said, uh, come to me, uh, all you who labor uh, and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you, amen, and, and learn from me. He said, for I am gentle, amen, and lowly at heart. And you will find rest for your soul. Uh, when you uh, have a question at school, amen, uh, you give it to the teacher. Uh, when you're sick and helpless, uh, we give control to the doctor. Uh, when there's a legal problem uh, that we can't solve, uh, we call a lawyer. Uh, 
when life, uh, when we face difficulties, uh, when our burdens hold us down, uh, we need to take it to the Lord uh, and entrust him, uh, uh, give it to God. Uh, the scripture tell us uh, it command us uh, to let those things go, uh, that the Lord is at hand. Uh, give it to God. Uh, and the expression that states uh, we trust God uh, and his word. Uh, sickness, uh, give it to God. Uh, confusion, uh, just give it to God. Amen. Uh, back aches, uh, give it to God. Uh, headaches, uh, give them to God. Uh, leg aches, uh, give them to God. Uh, arm aches, uh, just give them to God. Uh, financial, uh, give it to God. Uh, anxiety, uh, the Lord is at hand. Uh, everything about uh, God is amazing. Uh, so we ought to rejoice. Uh, have that choice to rejoice. Uh, in the midst of storm, uh, he'll give you peace. Uh, we'll turn uh, grief into grace. Uh, the wrong attitude uh, to the right attitude. Uh, from powerless uh, to powerful uh, and weakness uh, into strength. Uh, from bitterness uh, into sweetness. Uh, sadness uh, into happiness. Uh, he's our rock uh, in a weary land. Uh, a shelter uh, in a time of storm. Uh, bread when you're hungry and water when you're thirsty. Uh, he's the water uh, that, will, that we can drink uh, from the fountain of life. Uh, our joy early in the morning, uh, late in the evening. Uh, the Savior of the world, uh, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Uh, the right now uh, and the after while. Uh, the first uh, and the last. Uh, the beginning uh, and the ending. Amen. Uh, the Alpha and Omega. Uh, he was born of a virgin. Uh, lived a sinless life. Uh, taught with authority. Uh, so we ought to rejoice. Uh, Cause the deaf to hear, uh, the dumb to speak, uh, made the lame to walk. Uh, we ought to rejoice. Uh, cast out demons, uh, raise people from the dead, uh, forgiving us for our sins. Uh, we ought to rejoice. Uh, save our souls from hell, uh, change our lives, uh, lay down his life, uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice, uh, rose from the grave, uh, ascended into heaven, uh, go to prepare a place for us, uh, sit down on the right hand of God. Uh, provided atonement for our sins, uh, making intercessions for us on our behalf, uh, provided eternal life. Uh, he promised to come and receive him uh, to ourselves. Uh, the Bible said one day uh, he will split the sky uh, with a shout, uh, with a voice uh, from an archangel and a sound of a trumpet, uh, and we will call his children. Uh, we will rise up and, and be like him. Uh, God, uh, the everlasting uh, God. God, uh, the all-knowing, uh, God, the all-seeing, uh, God, from everlasting uh, to everlasting, and we got a choice. We have a choice. Whether we want to rejoice, Paul said rejoice always. He said, y'all ain't been through what I've been through. How many of you been ran out of town? How many of us been shipwrecked? Amen. How many of us been beaten 39 times on our back? Amen. How many of us have been let down a wall in a basket? None of us. Paul said, you ain't, you ain't got nothing to complain about. So rejoice in your circumstance. No matter what's going on, the doors of the church is open. Let us stand. No matter what's going on in our lives. Rejoice always. Here's the thing. God will get the glory. Of, God know what we're going through before we can even talk to him about it. He know who's going to do us wrong before we know. Amen. But he said, choose. You got a choice. He said, you know, the choice is yours. You can choose to be run around here and be grumpy all the time. Or you can choose to be happy. Regardless of what's going on. Life is not perfect. But we serve a perfect God. Everybody we think going to be our best friend. They're going to stab us in the back one day. Amen. Everybody we think that. But we got a choice. And our choice is God. We can choose to be happy through him. God don't want none of us sad. Even though, even Jesus wept. He wept. 
but he wept for his friend. Weeping and being sad and mad are two different things. Amen. So we need to choose to be happy. And things are not going your way. Turn it over to God. One that can do something about everything. You know, too many of us call, you know, when we, things ain't going away, we pick up the phone. And we call everybody that really don't care. I'm speaking the truth. You think they care. As soon as you hang up, they're going to call somebody else. Well, you know who just called me? You know what problems they having? But if you take it to God, he ain't finna call somebody that's going to tell all your business. He's going to do something about it. Is there anyone here that don't have a relationship with God? We're offering Christ to you right now. Don't leave here without a relationship. The Bible says we hear the word, you believe the word. Confess, repent. If you desire baptism, those are the ways to Christ. Perhaps that may be all of you may be saved. Amen. The altar is open for anyone need prayer. We offer Christ to those that may be looking. But the altar is open. The Bible tells us to pray for one another. Love one another. As he loves us. Prayer changes things. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone else before we pray? All right, I need three strong ladies that believe that prayer works. I believe that God answers prayers. Come up and represent. Amen. I got one for the Father, one for the Son, I need one for the Holy Spirit. Amen. in and hold hands let them in you're welcome so many things are going on But we pray to a God that he already knows, but he can do something about it. Father God, we come in Jesus' name. The only name 
that can help us. Father, we come to you right now with bowed heads and humbled hearts. We come knowing, Lord, that you are the God of everything. The God that can do anything about everything that we ask. Father, we come right now, Lord, thanking you for being the God that you are. One that has all the power that we need. We come, Lord, praying for these ladies, Lord, who have come out, Father, that, that are going through some things that you already know about. But, Father, you said that we need to come to you, Lord, and ask you in prayer, Lord, to, 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 to fix what's going on in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, Lord, that you will move out the worries, Father, you have, uh, that you know that they're going through. Father, I won't call it out, but they've already uh, said what they need you to do. And Father, we're uh, 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 getting in agreement with them, Father, that you will do what they've asked you to do in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that, and we know, Father, and we know that it will be done in the name of Jesus. For you told us where two or more gathered in your name, you would be in the midst, Father. And we thank you for your Holy Spirit right now for being in the midst of these believers, Father. Uh, you've let us know that you won't leave them or forsake them father uh, you let us know that you will be with us always lord you let us know that you love us so much even when we didn't love ourselves you let us know father even when we're going in the wrong direction uh, you would allow us to turn back to you father we thank you for letting us turn back father we ask lord that you would touch each and every one of these sisters Lord, heal the conditions. Lord, help them, Lord, to have faith, Lord, that no other faith, Lord, can be any higher. Lord, give them the faith, Lord, of, of the possible, because you are the possible God, Father. And we pray, Lord, that you would allow them, your Lord, their minds to be clear, Father, and that they would know that you're with them. In the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever you find within them, Lord, fix it, Father, in the name of Jesus. Anything that's out of place, straighten it up, Father. Anything crooked, straighten it up. Anything, Lord, that don't need to be there, in the name of Jesus, remove it. Any healing that need to be done, heal it right now. We claim it right now. Touch a baby, Father. Continue to keep your... Angels around the baby. Help her to grow up, Lord, in the nurturing and the, 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 the bring it up in the church, Father. Touch her mind. Touch her heart, Father. Touch her legs, Lord. Guide her walk, Father. Guide her speech. And Lord, anyone, Lord, that's in their lives, Father, that's telling them to do something against your will, Father, we ask that you remove it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Any evil spirit that may come their way, Father, block them out with your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we know depression, Lord, will, will be removed if you touch them. We know anxiety will be removed when you touch them, Father. We know that any thought, Lord, that's not of you can be removed, Lord, when you touch them. So we pray your Holy Spirit will get deep down in them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for those that, made, that wanted to come out but didn't want, that just didn't have the Spirit. Just didn't have the strength that wherever they are, Father, that you would touch and answer their prayers. And Father, we pray for every member that's traveling right now. We lift up Sister Patton to you, Father, that you would keep her and strengthen her. Bring them, take her, bring them back safely in the name of Jesus. We pray for uh, Jane and Dudley, Father, and, 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 and her family. We pray for Sister Rouser and her family. Father, we lift them up to you. For comfort. 
And Father, there may be members that may be God needing comforting that we are unaware of. We ask that you comfort them as well. And Father, we ask that you break every yoke this morning, Father, that, that, that have someone bound down and burdened down, Father. Break every yoke and lift that heaviness off their shoulder and give them peace. Father, we pray all month, all year for peace, Father. We pray that we will live under your peace and that we will turn everything over to you. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you all, sisters. We consider it done. We claim it. In the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid to talk to God. Don't be afraid to talk to God. He wants us to talk to him. Amen. Without offering you. Let the church say amen. You know, Pastor, I believe um, in my car that, that yellow light come on a little bit too often. I, I think that's the only thing that worked. Um, Pastor Ab Abernathy prayed about um, a cheerful giver. And that if you give, that, that God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you have no room to receive. Y'all believe that? Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this hour to give, dear Lord, what you have freely given to us. For I know that you love a cheerful giver, Lord. Let us be cheerful givers today. And Lord, as we give, let it be for the upbuilding of your kingdom, Lord. We just thank you right now for your purpose and plan for our lives. That's to be a blessing to thy kingdom. And we thank you for this day and this opportunity. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. At this time, if the poor people come first, followed by the amen corners, everyone in the audience, would you please stand? Let us stand. Bless out our gifts. Now thy gifts our hands have brought. Bless thou the prepare for Lord's Supper.
God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which you have showed toward his name and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. May we stand. If anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is perpetuation, atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. Wherefore, you that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins, and are in love and harmony with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy way, draw near with faith, and take the holy sacrament to your comfort, and devoutly kneel and make your humble confession to Almighty God. Together, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most gruesomely have committed, and by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us, we do earnestly repent and a heartless sorrow for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Father, Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Give us all the sins and grant us that we may go out to our facility and please thee in the newness of life to the honor of thy glory to thy name. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your great mercy has promised forgiveness of our sins to all who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto you, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Together, Almighty, Almighty God, whom who all seek open and all desires known, and from whom no seekers are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our divine and the inspiration of our Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and word lad of our divine name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your holy table, O merciful Lord, trusted in our own righteousness. But in your manifold and great mercies, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table. But you are the same, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may live and grow thereby, and that being washed through his most precious blood, we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. <clears throat> prayer of consecration almighty god our heavenly father who of your tender mercy did give your only son jesus christ to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption who made there by giving of himself once for all time a full perfect and sufficient sacrifice offering and satisfaction satisfaction for the sins of the whole world and did institute in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father. We humbly beg you and grant that receiving these 
your elements of bread and wine according to your son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution in remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood who is in the same night which was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me likewise after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to all to them saying drink all of this for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for you for the many and for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, therefore with angels and archangels, we laud and know thy, thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are still of thy glory. Glory be to God, O Lord, most high.
Was anyone overlooked? Anyone overlooked? Amen. Now, deaconess, deaconess may come.
Let us recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, God in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. Let us stand. Recite together. Glory be to you, and power, and glory, and glory, and glory, and peace, and goodwill toward me. We praise thee, we magnify thee. We glorify thee. We glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, he heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, thou Lord, grant us one of thy Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord, God. Grant us away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Thou that takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Thou that takes away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sitteth on the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. You may be seated. This ends the Lord's Supper. Good afternoon. These are the announcements for Sunday, November the 5th, 2023 at St. Peter AME Zion Church. The Christian Education Department is asking for a $9 donation towards a dining or carry-out dinner today immediately following the morning worship service. Your donation will help to support our children and youth in attending the CED Midwinter Meeting this December in North Carolina. Tomorrow through Wednesday, November the 8th, Reverend Freeman will be available to schedule meetings with members or to host counseling sessions between the hours of 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tomorrow, the Tuscaloosa Investment District will be hosting its first Lake Council meeting for this conference year at Beautiful Zion AME Zion Church at 6.30 p.m. Tuesday, Mass Choir rehearsal will be held at 6 o'clock p.m. There will also be a steward board meeting at 6 p.m. right here at St. Peter. The Tuscaloosa Vestment District will be hosting a women's book study Tuesday on the book titled Choosing Real at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. Then join us for our weekly prayer teleconference call at 7 o'clock p.m. Wednesday, November the 8th, all St. Peter veterans are asked to submit your names to either Minister Faith Stewart or Sister Julia Prince to be recognized on next Sunday, November the 12th. The Tuscaloosa Vestment District will be hosting a joint Bible study services online via Zoom this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Sunday, November the 12th, the Tuscaloosa Vestment District Christian Education Department Yakum presents a thankful praise service program at 3 o'clock p.m. at Spring Hill AME Zion Church. Reverend Patrick Freeman will be the guest speaker, and the St. Peter Mill Chorus is asked to sing. Sunday, November the 19th, the Tosusa Bessemer District will be hosting the Young Adult Missionary Society Yams 40th Anniversary Program at 3 o'clock p.m. at Jerusalem AME Zion Church. Monday, November the 20th. The Tuscaloosa Vestment District monthly prayer teleconference call will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. St. Peter needs one member to be a contestant for the Home Mission Fruit Tree Queen Contest during the 2024 North Alabama Conference. The St. Peter Queen will be responsible for raising money throughout the 2023-24 conference year. To our visitors, we offer you words of welcome. So, dear guests, our doors are always unlocked and open. So come on in. This is the house of the Lord, and He is our host. We are all here by the same invitation. And since we share the Lord in common, 
Let's be sure to greet each other after the parting blessing. So on behalf of Reverend Patrick and Mrs. Shandra Freeman, we would like to say thank you for visiting with us today. Join us next week for our Sunday morning prayer call at 8.30 a.m., Sunday school at 9.30 a.m., morning worship service at 11 a.m., and the Chosen Generation Youth Church service at 11 a.m. in the Church Annex. We thank you for worshiping with us today. We pray that you have a blessed, safe, and wonderful week ahead. Thank you, Sister Weaver, um, for the announcements. Do we have anyone visiting with us today? We're all family. Uh, let us wave at ourselves. Amen. Uh, thank you for um, this uh, media team for letting that go out. Um, I'll go out. Yes, sir. We do have a visitor? Okay. Hello. You, you who? Ayana Harville, okay. You from he, Tuscaloosa? Um, I'm from Northern Virginia. I used to live in Maryland. I've been moving to the Carolinas. I live in Tennessee and Tennessee. Amen. 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 Amen.
I did speak with Dr. Governors. They printed the wrong church on the surveys, those that wanted printed copies, but they told us just write over that. I'll name write St. Peter over that. If you want, if any of those that want a paper copy of the survey, we need to do have 20 surveys to get the $250 from Stillman um, to the church. Amen. But I have some paper copies, 50 of them, um, for those that don't have. It's also electronic. We have a link, I think, was sent out this week you can do it online on the link or you can do the paper copy if you need a paper copy see me after church amen make sure you tell someone you love them you hey, yes ma'am oh we have an announcement all cancer survivors okay did i miss anyone i don't want y'all leave here and say what pastor then say okay Yes, sir, Jeff. Amen. It's good to see you, too. Amen. Good to see you. All of you who we've missed and we hadn't seen, thank you for being in the presence of God. Amen. Make sure you take him with you this week. Amen. He don't like to be left alone. Amen. Take him with you. Don't leave him in the car. Don't leave him in your house. Don't leave him on the job. Take him with you. Amen. May God be with you until we meet again. Let us stand. Shake somebody's hand. Forget to support the um, the children, the CED, with the donations. Um, the Culinary Committee does such an awesome job in raising and trying to get our kids to the Winter Convention. I said that because I've gone to other cities, other states. I was in Memphis, in fact. Um, we were in Memphis, and there's a church called um, Memphis Church. It's about four blocks long. It's a black church with about seven or 8,000 members every Sunday through the year, every Sunday. And that's how they get the kids to where they need to go. Let us pray. Father God, we come in Jesus' name thanking you for another worship service. Father, we ask as we leave this place, but never your presence, get us to our different destinations safely. Father, watch over us all week long. Block us from the fiery dots of the devil. Order our hearts, our minds, and spirits. May the things we say and do be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, will rest, rule, and abide in all of our hearts. It is in Jesus' name that we ask. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Go in peace.